A new lab, big updates, and a huge award win. Back in July, we introduced you to the San Antonio-based team that created Ulysses, a revolutionary device that can preserve limbs and organs up to 24 hours. The night team's Courtney Friedman tells us how and where the life-saving device may soon be used. This time, it's a pig's leg. Last time, it was a pig's heart both being preserved for record amounts of time by this device called Ulysses. Right now, tissue for transplants can only be preserved for about six hours tops. Ulysses is hitting up to 24 hours. We're continuing to collect data for the FDA. Since July, a team led by Leonid Benagan has found a partner at a Denver hospital to help conduct the first experiments on human limbs. Separately, they'll be starting experiments in mid-November for the Department of Defense to use Ulysses in a battlefield situation. Uh, that'll involve uh, some 20 experiments, which will establish uh, uh, the validity of using this device and how well the tissue responds over 24 hours. Ulysses would also be the only device of its kind to be able to be sent on a plane for transport without accompaniment. You just put it right here in this case, close it up, and it fits in the overhead compartment. The project getting some major attention. By the Tech Briefs, which is an organization that uh, sponsors, or I should say organizes, uh, a competition called Design the Future. And uh, I've been reading the tech briefs since 1975 and uh, have always wanted to submit something to this. He submitted Ulysses, as he says, on a whim. We won the device design competition and then went on to win the grand prize, which is the overall best technology for 2019. Beating out over 700 other entries from 60 different countries. Guys, it just uh, floored me, to be honest with you. Fueling his decades long goal to save millions of lives. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. That Tech Briefs Award comes with a $20,000 prize, which he plans to put back into research. But again, will soon accept the award in New York on behalf of that team.